it's Shannon here from Pink Orchid Studio and I am doing a video today. And the video that we're going to go over is how to do a fishtail braid that's going to stay put all night. Doesn't matter if you're going out to a, you know, for the day uh, to work or if you're going to an Indian party and you want to make your hair look like it is on point. So um, I, it's really simple. And the traditional way, way that I've um, done fishtails in the past, I have found that um, my hair tends to fall out. So I have a lot of layers in, uh, in my hair and um, it tends to slip out and it gets really messy really easily and I'm not really able to get it to look really uh, full. So um, I actually found this little tutorial gem on YouTube so I thought I would show it uh, to you guys and share it with you guys so next time you have an event to go to whether it's a um, Indian function or a Western function, your hair is going to look awesome. And I need to do it today because my hair is quite long right now and I'm going to get a haircut today. So um, my braid is going to be a little bit skinnier later this afternoon. So um, here we go. Okay, okay, so let's get started. So what did I do to my hair earlier today? I just uh, blew it out straight with a round brush. So you can see it's pretty coarse, it's pretty fluffy right now, which is good because that's what you want. Uh, if your hair is really fine and silky when you do the braid, it's going to just shrink. So you want your hair to be kind of coarse and full. So if you just blow it out straight, that's great. You can back comb a little bit at the root like I have underneath just to give it a little bit of fluff and lift. So let's get started. I have two hairsprays and some small elastics and a larger elastics. Um, I usually work with medium hold hairspray while I'm working and when I'm done, then I set my hair with firm. And these are my go-to favorites. They're from Joico, they're medium, uh, medium mist and firm mist. And this is their uh, finishing spray in the gray bottle. I always use these, I use these on my clients as well. You will also need these little bitty rubber elastics and you can get these in clear as well. I have them here in black, so you can see them there. And a larger elastic. And I have a little mirror here so I can show you guys what I am doing. So I'm gonna start, um, you're going to start by first deciding which way you want to part your hair. So usually I like to have my braid on this side and like to have this side of my shoulder clear. I also like to part my hair this way because I like this side of my face. So that's the way that you should be um, choosing which side you want your braid on. So the side of your face that you want more exposed, so your good side, put your hair going uh, away from that part of your face. So uh, do an extreme part. That's what's really in style right now. So you can see how far to the left I've parted my hair. I'm gonna take a little bit of hairspray. A little bit of hairspray and just kind of fluff up the front a bit. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna take my elastic and this is how we're gonna start. You're going to take your hair and you're going to put it into a side ponytail. Now I like to do this because this will keep your hair staying put and keep it from coming out if you have a lot of layers. And then you just pull a bit out here and there to give yourself some nice volume. Let's try that again. I didn't like how that turned out. So let's, I like to have my hair out of my face. So I'm gonna spray my hair back. Now I'm going to put my hair into the ponytail now. I'm going to twist it a little bit just so I can get my hair out of my face. So I don't like my hair touching my face. Okay, and I'm going to pull some pieces out. Let's try that again just to give it a little bit of volume, a little bit of poof. I just realized I'm not wearing any earrings. Oh well, I could do that later. Okay. Perfect. Side ponytails in place. So now I am going to do, I'm going to take another step here, and I am going to turn, twirl my hair around my base ponytail. Just because I don't want to be able to see, I don't want to be able to see that elastic. Okay. Now it's covered. Now what you can do at the very end of this is once you're done the fishtail braid is cut your elastic and that's going to give you a lot of fullness in here but that works if your layers are longer. So if your layers are longer and they're not going to come out of the braid then great you can 
um, undo your elastic band. But if your layers are a little bit shorter like mine, um, that may tend to make some pieces stick out on the side. So in that case, I like to keep my um, elastic inside or keep it, um, keep it intact and not cut it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a piece from the back. I'm going to hang on to that little piece that I wrapped around my elastic. I'm going to take two pieces from each side and I'm going to bring them together into the front like so. So I'm taking two pieces of hair from each side from the back of the ponytail and I'm bringing them to the front and I'm using one of the small rubber elastics to tie them together. Now this is the important part is you're going to split these in half like so and you're going to flip your hair over and under like so. You can see how that looks and you can pull your elastic a little bit to kind of bring it up and use your fingers just kind of space it out a little. You can see how that's already started that really pretty fishtail design. Now this elastic is going to make sure that that, the, that hair doesn't come out for the whole day. Now you're going to leave that piece alone. You're not going to touch it at all. You're going to start again. You're going to do the exact same thing. You're going to take one piece of hair. Well, I didn't really get covered up, but I can stick a bobby pin in there to make sure that my elastic stays covered. I'm going to take a piece of hair, another one from the back of each side. Take my little rubber elastic. Loop it three times. That usually does the job. And I'm going to flip the hair over and under. I'm not touching the hair that I just flipped over and under. This is a completely new piece. Perfect. Awesome. Now I'm going to take some more hair and I'm going to keep repeating this until I get down to the bottom of the braid, which is not going to take me very, very long. If you want a longer braid, clip in your hair extensions first uh, towards the bottom of your hair to get the most uh, length and, uh, and then do your braid. Right now I don't have any in, but my hair is pretty long and it'd be hard to match my hair because I have that ombre thing going on. Okay, so I'm flipping over and under. Awesome. I wonder what happened if I flipped it again. I haven't tried that yet. Mm, no, don't like it as much. Let's just do it once and pull the elastic. Perfect. And I'm going to work my way all the way down. Now you can see this doesn't take a lot of time. Piece from both sides. If you want it to be a little bit smoother, you could use a little bit of gel on, the, on these pieces to um, keep them nice and tidy before you flip it around. But you know, hairstyles these, day are, these days are all about uh, looking very effortless and easy and a little bit messy. Flip over and pull. Doo, doo, doo. And I am totally loving these snap tats. So I ordered these online. I think they're pretty cool. So a nice alternative to jewelry. And these are just little stick-on tattoos. They're super easy to apply and they are fun. Summer's coming, girls. So if you have somewhere to go on the weekend, um, this way it's not as clunky um, as jewelry and it's just something kind of temp well, semi-permanent. It's supposed to last for a couple days. I just put it on. So we'll see how long it lasts. But I totally love these. I think they're very cool. So I think I found them on Instagram. Uh, Snap Tats, I think, is their um, Instagram, ha Instagram handle. So check them out. They're very, very fun. And so I'm just going to work my way down with doo -doo -doo, my braid. Adjust my mirror a little bit. It's hard trying to do this on camera and uh, speak to you guys at the same time. Okay. Thanks for your patience, guys. Maybe, maybe with the magic of a video, we'll be able to fast forward to this part. Do, 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 and flip and pull. Sometimes if it kind of goes one way, just loosen that one side. So you can see if I used clear elastics, you probably would not be able to notice them so much. But if you do see elastics, just pull the hair up a little bit. That one, by doing that, I sort of hid that last one. And I'm about done. Do, do, do. 
and I am almost finished. So I like to leave a little tail there at the very bottom. Take my last elastic, so I what, maybe did this about six times, seven times. And flip this around, over and under. And that one kind of ended up a little messy, so I'm going to do one more. Try to make that last one a little bit more tidy. Mm -mm -mm. I have my kit here. I'm going to grab a bobby pin. So that last one, I'm going to go over and under. And that should do it. I'm going to grab my bobby pin. I do have my kit right here. Take these pieces of hair and I'm just going to pin them back into the top of my pony here and go right into my ponytail so you don't see the pin sticking out. Da -da -da. Now you can't see my elastic band. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of spray. Now what you want to do with this uh, braid once you're done is start to pull it out to make it a little bigger and kind of fuller. Use your nails in there. So the messier, the better. And that's it. That is my tutorial for Messy Fishtail Braid for the summertime. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, we will be bringing you some uh, more tutorials. Uh, just put your comments below and we will bring you some new fun hairstyles and we'll also be going over um, some Indian hairstyles. A few tips on how to set your chunni, how to put in your tikka and make it stay and how the proper way to uh, pin your basa. So hope you guys enjoy and have a uh, great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.